Hi, I'm Kat and this is Delaney's Well. I had a few people ask me uh, what's going on with the cards that I read with. I actually hand drew these cards more than 10 years ago uh, in a tarot apprenticeship that I did with my teacher. Um, I'm actually in the process of looking at getting them printed so that I can start selling them and people can also start reading them, which is really exciting for me um, because then people can have my art in their tarot readings that they do for themselves and their friends and their clients. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into today's tarot. You got a foreshadowing. Our opening card of the day is the Emperor. So this is a major arcana card and it's telling us that it is time to bring order to where we see chaos in our life. This card is ruled by Aries, so it's governed by that inner warrior. It's like, okay, there's something that needs to be done over there and I need to gather all my stuff so that I can go show up on the battlefield. And it's somewhere in our life and we're feeling that call and that initiation to actually take forward steps and move forward and create order. You know, consider that the symbol that's associated with this card is the window. So we need to have perspective when we are looking out at, at what needs to be done. And you know, the, the person who's the colonel of the battlefield, he's not necessarily on the battlefield looking at every single situation and getting absorbed in it they're actually at a higher level where they can see through a window and perspective what actually needs to be done and what's going to be uh, the most efficient and most useful. So if you feel overwhelmed by all of these things that you have to do or all these things that are kind of on your plate, I encourage you to just do whatever you can do today and then tomorrow do whatever you can do tomorrow. And then eventually you will get through these things one thing at a time and you will be creating order out of wherever you feel chaos in your life. The challenge that we have showing up for today is this Six of Wands card. Now, the Six of Wands is usually a really encouraging card. It's all about moving forward based on past successes. But it's showing up as a challenge, which tells me that we're having a little bit of trouble moving forward in some situation, even though perhaps we feel really encouraged by the people that are around us to move forward. And maybe it's all the things that we feel like we need to do and all the chaos but ultimately let's see how we get through that it's gonna come down to the five of wands that's so interesting because we drop from the six of wands to the five of wands which is actually getting to a simpler process but whereas like the six of wands is te technically like moving forward the five of wands is all about choosing your battles right because fives, as I've mentioned in past readings, has this nu Roman numeral symbol of this V, which means that we have a choice. And wands are all about interaction and, and action and, and where we feel our will is needing to go out and apply itself in the world. And so the fact that there's five sitting here, you can see these figures in the card, they could either be combative against each other or they could be in some kind of cooperative training. And so it comes down to where we want to place our will you know do we want to you know put it in a area that is causing us strife and is ultimately chewing up our energy and spitting it out or do we want to use it in a productive way and learn from our experiences and realize that that's what life is all about now the overall energy for today is the Hierophant. So we have another major arcana card that's showing up for today. And this is all about listening and really listening to your own intuition around when you need to act and, and when it's time to be still and be silent. Now this card is a Taurian ruled card. Now, right now we had, we just had a lunar eclipse, right? So the moon just moved through Taurus. And Uranus is up in Taurus, causing all kinds of instability and change in wherever we have stability in our life, wherever Taurus is sitting in our natal chart. Each and every one of us has Taurus sitting in our natal chart. And so there's been all of this upset and all of this change, but it brings us back to like our own inner faith and knowing that we live in a very tightly interwoven universe that is full of potential and if you look out at the world and at your environment if you live in a place that isn't full of a lot of light you know at dusk and sometimes even in the morning you can see 
all the energy and all the potential that is on this planet. And it's important to remember what we call into form and what we manifest with our attention and with our emotions and with our interactions with other people and to choose wisely, right? Like how do we want to apply our will in life and to listen to ourselves and listen to our own inner teacher, you know? And if people don't know this, you know, there is this system that we have in our body. You know, we have lots of different systems in our body. We have skeletal systems, mus you know, muscular systems. We have a respiratory system. We have, you know, endocrine systems. We have rep reproductive systems. We have digestive systems. We have so many different interconnected systems. We also have a chakra system, which is an energetic system that actually is really interwoven with our endocrine system and helps us respond to our environment. And so one thing that I'm going to be offering here uh, in the next couple of weeks is some meditation so people can start to get acquainted with your chakra system because I think it is a really useful tool for people to have access to because within that we can see where we're knotted up and where we have work to do with ourselves and our own energetic body and listen to the teacher within so that we can be out in the world in a more as a more centered human being and really have a true exchange with other people and bring our own light into the world as much as possible. So if you're interested in that, um, like any of the chakra meditations, I'm going to be doing some short ones on Instagram, but I'm going to be recording them and putting them on YouTube so people can listen to them as often as they'd like. I also did develop a essential oil series that go along with it, which I'm going to be packaging and offering um, in you know the coming weeks. I've, I've already done it in the past and had a little booklet, but I just want to update it a little bit. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know and I can make sure that you get one of them if I'm only doing a small batch of them. It just kind of depends on what I can get my hands on with all of the supplies and everything that are going on. We're getting shortages of. So with that said, I, uh, I just encourage you to listen inwardly and, you know, listen to your own inner teacher and where it's telling you what's safe in your environment and what you feel called to and where you feel it is important to nurture and take care of yourself because right now we're going through a lot of change and we can deal with it a lot better if our nervous systems are in balance and our body is fed and we have a good support system around us so i support you and i send you a lot of love and i will see you again soon bye for now Mwah.